Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. OnePlus has been rolling out the latest stable version of Oxygen OS 5.1 to the OnePlus 5 and 5T. It's a pretty big update considering it's based on Android 8.1, but there is a new feature that they decided to throw in for the OnePlus 5T, and that is using gestures instead of a navigation bar. It's called Navigation Gesture, and it's very similar to the iPhone X's gestures. To go to your home screen, you swipe up from the bottom center edge. To go to your Recents page, you need to do the same thing, but this time, pause in the center of the screen. And lastly, to go back, you can swipe up from the left or right side. All these gestures work the same way in landscape. If you decide to use this, it'll take some time to get used to. I decided to give it a shot, and it felt really weird and frustrating at first, but after a couple hours, I pretty much got the hang of it, and it wasn't so bad. It's like switching from a physical keyboard back in the day to a virtual one, or learning to use the swipe feature on Gboard. Everyone thought these were weird concepts at the time, but now every smartphone uses a virtual keyboard, and to me, personally, using swipe is a faster and more convenient way to type. Navigation gestures on the 5T isn't perfect though. For example, when using a launcher that has a swipe up app drawer, some gestures interfere with others. It's not as bad on the OnePlus launcher, but if you're using a third party launcher like Nova or Rootless Pixel Launcher, then it's going to be harder for the phone to know if you want to go to the Recents page or open up the app drawer. It definitely needs improvement. There have been a lot of rumors flying around that Google is also working on implementing this feature in Android P, and maybe their take will be a lot better than OnePlus's. According to Stephen Shank over at Android Police, the home bar, which looks very similar to that of the iPhone X's, will be a key point to swipe up from in order to go to the home screen, and the back button will only appear when needed and disappear on certain screens, such as the home screen. I'm not sure what gestures they're going to use to launch Google Assistant or the Recents page, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. In the end, this new OnePlus feature is just a glimpse at what may be coming for the future of Android. To me, it does seem very plausible that these new gestures will replace the traditional nav bar in the future since they provide us with a bit more screen space, and since we're moving to phones with taller and more bezel-less displays. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Either way, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!